Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please all stand. Test me, O God, and know my thoughts. See that my path is not wicked, and lead me in the way everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, direct the hearts of your servants to yourself that caught up in the fire of your spirit, we may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season. 
but stands in a lava, lava waste, a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes, its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More tortuous than all else is the human heart, beyond remedy. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hoped in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Please all stand. Mapalad ang pag-iingat sa kanyang pusong matapat ng salitang nagbubuhat sa buong Diyos ng liwanag sa tagay ang pag-inggan The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried, by, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the netherworld where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. 
He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in what do you trust? Or in whom do you trust? In our first reading today, we are reminded of the importance of putting our trust in God. And very beautifully, the prophet Jeremiah, the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah, tells us about the blessing that one who trusts in God gains. Our first reading tells us that the man who trusts only in human beings, the man who seeks strength only in the flesh, is cursed. But the one who trusts in God is truly blessed. Kaawa-awa ang taong nagtitiwala lamang sa tao o sa kanyang sarili. Pero ang taong nagtitiwala sa Diyos, tunay na pinagpala. And God, through the prophet Isaiah, even used imagery in order to emphasize how cursed is the man who trusts only in men, in human beings, and how blessed is the man who trusts in God. The prophet Isaiah tells us, the prophet Jeremiah tells us, that the one who trusts only in human beings is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season. Para siyang tuyong halaman. Wala siyang pinaghuhugutan ng kanyang sustansya at ng kanyang lakas dahil ang inaasahan lamang niya ay ang kanyang sarili. But the one who trusts in God is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. Because of the trust in God, even when problems come, even when difficulties come, there is nothing to worry because the one who trusts in God has deep roots that reaches to the waters. Kaya yung pagtitiwala sa Diyos nagpapalakas sa atin kahit sa gitna ng tagtuyot at ng kahirapan. One, the one who trusts in God is truly blessed. And what our first reading tells us today is concretely seen in the parable that Jesus narrates in our gospel today. 
the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. The rich man trusts only in himself, in his own wealth. And because of that, because he is very rich, because he has more than enough for himself, then he does not mind others, not even Lazarus, who was just staying at his door. Self-sufficiency, my dear brothers and sisters, is dangerous because when we are self-sufficient, we become blind from seeing other people. Kapag wala na akong pangangailangan, kapag meron na ako ng lahat ng aking kailangan, nabubulagan ako sapagkat hindi ko na nakikita ang ibang tao at hindi ko na rin nakikita ang Diyos. Sapat na naman ang meron ako, wala na akong pakialam sa iba. Okay na ang buhay ko, hindi naman ako naghihikahos, kaya wala akong pakialam sa iba. Self-sufficiency makes us blind and we fail to see other people and even God. Kapag self-sufficient na tayo, baka ang tiwala na lamang natin ay nasa sarili natin, nasa pera ko, nasa ari-arian ko, at wala na sa Diyos. And we have Lazarus who is so poor that he could only trust in God. And so when they both died, Lazarus, who placed his trust in God, was brought to the bosom of Abraham. Yung akala nating kawawa, siya pala ang tunay na pinagpala. At, si, at yung mayaman na akala nating mapalad, siya naman ang lumabas na kawawa. My dear brothers and sisters, in what do you trust? In whom do you put your trust? Kanino ba tayo nagtitiwala? Sino ba ang pinagtitiwalaan natin? If you trust only other people or only yourself, then you are cursed. But if you put your trust in God, you are very blessed. Please all stand. As we remember the special needs of the poor, we come before our God who shared His riches with everyone by sending His Son into the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may show forth the compassion of Christ for the poor who are struggling for a more just society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are tempted to become slaves of wealth and material security may realize that spiritual poverty arises from refusing to share with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may all have the grace to show mercy and compassion, generosity and understanding to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our community, that we might find it wonderful to worship in the company of the saints of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that all engineers, especially civil engineers, 
as they celebrate World Engineering Day for Sustainable Development today, be given the guidance, knowledge, and wisdom as they practice their profession and in promoting and realizing the sustainable development goals for the betterment of our nation and the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may share in the happiness and peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, in your love and mercy, fill us with the abundance of your generosity and help us to reach out to the less fortunate. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. By this present sacrifice, we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance, that what length and discipline outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did, did, did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, 
he decided to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his second coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. May this sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to thank all of you for joining us in our Mass today. We also wish to thank those who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you also for all the support that you have been sending to the Manila Cathedral. And in a special way, we wish to greet the officers and members of the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers as they celebrate World Engineering Day for Sustainable Development today. Thank you for making this Mass as a part of your activities for today. And we pray for you especially for your special role in society and in our world. May God bless you all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Abide with your servants, O Lord who implore the help of your grace, that they may receive from you the support and guidance of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today.